Hello, today I am going to be taking you through everything you need when it comes to postpartum care after having a baby. I am not sure how knowledgeable you are when it comes to what happens after a baby. I was under the impression that you birth the baby and then everything's honky-dory and goes back to normal and that could not be further from the truth. In reality, you're pretty tore up. It's kind of a bloodbath and you're recovery takes a while it's not easy birthing a child that seems really obvious for me to say right now but i was completely oblivious before having any kids and a video like this would have been super helpful for me so i am just going to jump into it and walk you through everything you need for your postpartum care right now. I have the baby registry that I created last week and let's just start adding postpartum care items. So number one are adult diapers. I'm sure you already have plenty of diapers for your little baby that you are about to introduce to this world. And what you may not know is you will also become a baby after giving birth because you will need diapers. After you give birth and you push out your baby, or even if you have a C-section, which is what I had, there's a lot of stuff that still needs to come out and it takes weeks for it to all clear. So, I mean, we're all adults here. It sounds morbid, but it's the facts of life. You will basically have a very, very strong period after you give birth to your child, no matter which way you deliver. and. At the hospital, they give you these really thick, like, granny panties, and they give you large pads to put inside. But once I was home, I felt like adult diapers were just easier. So the ones that I got are these always discreet underwear. This pack of 32 should last you the entire time that you need it after you get home. You can survive off of large pads, but I mean, the diapers are just easier, especially at night, to just super ensure that you don't leak all over your bed and ruin your mattress. So the next thing you will want in terms of postpartum care are nursing Oop, pads. Nursing pads are basically diapers for your boobs. So if you're planning on breastfeeding, your boobs still have to figure out how much milk to produce. They will sometimes get very, very full and leak milk. <laughs> so nursing pads are something you want to just catch any of the milk that is trying to escape. I like the Lansino nursing pads. And depending on how long you breastfeed for, you will need quite a bit. So this 200 count, this is not for 200 uses. You have two boobies, it's for 100 uses. I would get this one to start off with. That's a baby registry. Boom. All right, the next thing you will need that is still in the breastfeeding vein is some nipple cream. Here's the nipple cream. You will need it because breastfeeding hurts. I don't know if you've taken a breastfeeding class yet or if you have any friends that you've talked to about breastfeeding, but it is not easy. I was under the impression when I was pregnant or before I had kids that breastfeeding was just this really beautifully natural process and as soon as you gave birth to your little baby, they would just latch onto your nipple and start eating away. And no, that that's not how it works. I mean, maybe that's how it works for some people, but I believe for most people, you have to teach your baby how to eat. The latching process can be very long for some people. It can be very painful if your baby is not latching properly. I know when I gave birth to my twins and I was trying to tandem breastfeed, they were so little that their latches just weren't very good. and my nipples were literally bleeding and blistered from trying to breastfeed so much. I eventually had to start pumping and even with pumping you need this nipple cream but especially if you're going to be breastfeeding and if this is your first baby you need some lanolin cream to help your nippies recover between feedings. I actually personally don't like this lanolin cream from Lansino. I like the Medela Tender Care. 
It's just a lanolin cream. And I don't know why I like this one the most. I've tried a few. And this is just the one that soothed my nipples the most. Let me just show you. So I've tried the Lancino cream. I didn't really like it. I tried the Mother Love nipple cream and it was too thin. It didn't feel like it did anything for my nipples. I tried the Honest Company. It seemed too thin. The Lancino is probably the thickest, but it was just too thick. So Medela is what I liked the most and what I would you know, suggest and put my word behind if you're going to register for a nipple cream. Next on the list, the world will revolve around your boobs when you have a baby. And so this is just another thing to tack on to that, our nursing bras. I actually like the Target nursing bras the most. They are a lot more expensive than what you can get off of Amazon, but they're just more comfortable and I feel like cuter. Some of the nursing bras that you can get off Amazon, like I have this three pack right here. They're great, they work, but they are just not cute. Like if you, when you get to that point where you can be intimate with your husband again, they're just not cute. They're not sexy at all. They're like giant boob armor and the Target ones are just a little more delicate and feminine looking. But these do do the trick and you get three for basically what you get for the price of one for the Target bras. So I would suggest getting at least one pack of this. We covered everything that you need for your boobs and now let's move further south to what you are going to need to help recover in your nether regions. So I've only ever had C-sections, so I can't necessarily attest to what specifically happens with a vaginal birth. However, I got hemorrhoids just from being huge and pregnant, so I can only imagine how much worse they would get if you have to push out a baby vaginally. I use this even with a C-section, so I'm assuming you would really need this if you deliver vaginally, and that is hemorrhoid wipes. The hemorrhoid wipes that I use are the Preparation H wipes. They're flushable wipes. They basically just have witch hazel soaked on them, and when you're recovering down there, it's just nice to use a nice medicated wet wipe rather than dry rough toilet paper. I would add this to your baby registry. This comes as a four pack. There are also Tux medicated pads, which I know are really popular items. I've never specifically used them, but I mean, on this one, you can read some of the reviews. I'm just trying to point you into another direction here in case you don't like the Preparation H wipes. The next thing you will need to help your area down there are stool softeners. If you have a C-section specifically, the spinal block and some of the medicine that they give you prior to surgery can make you very constipated. Plus, when you have a C-section, they're literally slicing into your belly through your muscles. And when you think about, you know, pushing out poo, you're using your ab muscles. So when your ab muscles are recovering, there's really not as much push that you can give after a C-section. So... If you're having a C-section, I would suggest getting some stool softeners like this Colace. Take it prior to your surgery if you know that you're going to be having a C-section C section surgery. Obviously, in most cases, you don't always know. But if you are aware, you can take this and it'll at least save you some really, really, really painful adventures on the toilet. Next, we will look at getting a nice soft robe for your recovery. I highly suggest getting a robe like this or like this. The one I bought specifically was from Target and it was just a soft jersey knit robe. They're really nice for when you're recovering in the hospital. They give you a hospital gown there, but it's really just not even that comfortable. This is way more comfortable for you when you're recovering in the hospital. I'll try to find a picture and insert it here of what the hospital robe looks like, but it's not cute and it's not 
comfy at all. So try to do yourself a little favor, treat yourself, and get yourself a nice comfy robe. There's a few reasons that make these robes more comfortable and something you will want to bring to the hospital with you after baby and really wear for the next few weeks after having baby. I lived in my robe after giving birth. First, if you have a C-section like I did, you can't really wear pants because the pants will push on your incision, which can be super painful. Plus, having to pull down your pants and all that, it sounds so freaking lazy, but when you're recovering from surgery, it's a lot of work. Even if you don't have a C-section, something like this is still super convenient. The other thing, which I feel like is the biggest plus of wearing a robe like this after having a baby, is you have easy access. Again, the world revolves around your boobs after baby. You have easy access to your boobies. So anytime your baby wants to nurse, boop, you can just pop one out right there and start feeding your baby and then easily just wrap yourself back up. The next thing you're going to want is a belly support belt. Some people love these belly support belts, me being one of them. I know some people hate them and find them painful. After you deliver your baby, your belly doesn't just like snap back and look cute again. You still look pregnant right after delivering your baby because it takes a while for your uterus to shrink back down. So you've delivered your baby, your baby is no longer inside your uterus, but your uterus is still huge and it's now just an empty hollow sack. And at least for me, I felt that hollowness and it was just really uncomfortable having this huge empty uterus swinging around. So a belly support belt for recovery was essential for me to just feel more comfortable and put together again. You'll initially get one from the hospital that's in a really big size that'll shrink back down along with your uterus. But once you've gotten to a certain size down, you can buy some of these smaller ones here. These are, these are called shapewear, which I guess at a certain point, if you're still wearing it when your belly's super tiny, it could be considered shapewear. But this is the one that I got when I was still shrinking down my uterus. So this one is helpful at um, covering up your C-section scar and kind of creating extra padding against it rubbing against anything. And then you, it comes in three pieces. One of these two pieces I wore around my belly. I think I actually kind of traded off. I never wore all three together, but I would combo one of these top ones with this bottom one that just protected my C-section scar from the elements. All right, so back to the boobies. If you're breastfeeding, I feel like you always want to figure out ways to produce more milk. Even if your baby's getting enough, I know for me, I am fully able to feed my one baby that I have right now, but I'm still always taking lactation support supplements because I like to overproduce and then save it in the freezer so that when I am eventually done with my breastfeeding journey, I have some backup milk supply to keep providing my baby with the nutrients in breast milk. I take the... Earth Mama Milk Made Tea. It's not the best tasting tea. It has the fennel and fenugreek in it. It's caffeine free so you don't have to worry about your baby getting all jacked up on your breast milk from tea. And it just helps you produce a little bit more. So we'll add that to the registry. I've also tried this brand as well. It tastes pretty much the same, but I mean, as you can see, this one's a lot more expensive than this one, so. I like cheap more. I've also used producing more as an excuse to eat cookies. The Milk Makers Lactation Cookies. I've had the oatmeal chocolate chip before. So is this one like a mix? I've had the ones that are already made. Okay, so this one is like the ready made cookies, which is what I've had before. They are pricey. You can look up recipes and make your own Lactation cookies, it's basically just like oatmeal, fenugreek. Maybe I'll link to a good recipe down below. No, I'm not gonna promise that because that I barely have time to film these videos. You can Google a good lactation cookie recipe if you want one because 
They are very expensive to buy ready-made and you should be able to cook them for significantly cheaper. I've had these booby bars also. I don't think they taste as good as the Milk Makers Lactation Cookies. The booby boons I've used as well. I didn't really like those ones. Obviously a lot of other people didn't really like those either. If you don't want to specifically buy these lactation cookies, you can just eat a bowl of oatmeal every single day. The oats and oatmeal help with your milk production and I feel like that's the main ingredient in some of these cookies anyways and it's a lot cheaper. You can also get um, lactation, lactation supplements. I take the Upspring Milk Flow that you see right here. I've also used this Mother Love More Milk Plus. And then just just in case there's something I forgot, let's look at postpartum support or actually postpartum care. Let me see if there's anything else that's on here that I would suggest. So this sits bath soak is good, but I mean, good luck finding time to take a nice leisurely bath after having a baby. I mean, Hopefully you have family and a helpful husband, so maybe you can find some time, but I think it took a whole year before I was able to take a bath again. Oh, this is something that's really nice and convenient. I didn't use this Frida Baby specifically. I had kind of a water bottle that I used. This looks more convenient though. So after you deliver, we already talked about you're going to need a diaper and some hemorrhoid wipes because you're going to be bleeding profusely for a while after delivery. Something like this, which is basically a little wash bottle to wash yourself off. It's like a water bottle bidet, I guess you could say. It'll just help you clean yourself off down there after having a baby. There's going to be a lot of like gross stuff going on down there and you're not going to be able to easily wipe it all away with a tissue or even with a hemorrhoid wipe. So being able to spray it off with a bottle is super useful. $15 though is pretty expensive for this. I just used a water bottle. And by water bottle, I don't, I don't mean like an Evian bottle that has a big hole. I mean like a sports water bottle that you can spray it and it shoots out because that's what you're going to need to remove all the debris. I used these Tender Care Hydro Gels as well. These are really useful when you're a first time mom breastfeeding and your baby's not figuring out how to latch right away. As I said before, my nipples bruised, bled, blistered when I was first breastfeeding my twins. And the lanolin cream does help with the recovery, but think about it. When you injure yourself anywhere on your body and you're trying to prevent bruising, you put a cold ice pack on it. Well, these Tender Care Hydro Gels are basically little ice packs for your nipples. So I kept four of these. I would have all of them sitting in the freezer or fridge, and after I was done breastfeeding, I would apply the lanolin cream and then put these little ice packs on my nipples to just try to help them recover before I had to try to feed again in two hours. I mean, I guess this has great reviews. I feel like this is why I suggest wearing diapers after delivering. This is great if you are just using the crappy little underwear and pad that the hospital gives you when you leave because you're probably going to leak after a long night's sleep, if you're even getting long night's sleeps with a newborn baby. So that's why I guess some people have this, but just wear a diaper. You won't leak, you don't need to sleep on a little doggy pad. All right, so that completes the list of items that you could add to your baby registry to help you out with your postpartum care and recovery. I hope this video was helpful for you. I hope it helped you kind of learn what to expect as well after you have your baby, and I hope it didn't freak you out too much. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to click the like button and also click the subscribe and little notification bell so that you know when I post videos. I try to post one to two times a week. And leave a comment down below of any other postpartum care or recovery products that you think are great that I maybe missed on this list. I'm sure the other moms that are reading through the comments would love to see them as well. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.